just a lip uh, sweater looks cream artistic or homeless? Hey you guys, oh my god, that intro, I finally have an intro. Um, Thank you so much to my friend Troy for uh, creating that for me. Uh, he did the visuals for that and then the music is a different part of what I usually use for my outro, which is Pay the Reaper by Darren Curtis. Um, I'm so uh, excited to have that. It looks so cool. Anyway, so a lot of you guys have really enjoyed my uh, Phantom Memes series. And uh, so today I wanted to kind of expand upon that and show another uh, little realm of phantom fan art. Um, fan art is a huge part of our fandom. Uh, it's everywhere and there are some really amazing artists out there that do some really cool things with, uh, with this. And um, it's always very exciting to me uh, because I can't draw for shit anymore. I, I used to, and fairly well, but years of non-practice kind of took it out the window. So I always appreciate it when I see somebody who is very talented, and uh, so this is a kind of an appreciation uh, video, and um, so I really uh, want to get a good look at it this. Now I usually really try and do my research and find out who the artist is for each uh, drawing or painting or what have you, but um, I can't always find it. So if your art is featured in this video and I haven't been able to credit you, please let me know in the comments so that I can do that. Um, I, real, I definitely want everyone um, to be able to get due credit for these amazing works of art. Onward! Okay, so first we have this beautiful, I mean, it's almost like a Renaissance painting of Eric and Christine, obviously during either the unmasking or um, when he's first uh, taking her down to the house on the lake. This is by um, an artist named Annie Girard. She has some other really great works that I will show. I love this piece. It's beautiful. It features a blonde Christine, um, which we don't get to see a whole lot of. And um, it, like I said, it's, it looks almost like a Renaissance painting. Um, it's a, a very, very cool, beautiful style. And I just, I love this. This one, it always cracks me up. This, this is actually based on a actual photograph of I believe it was Ali Ewalt and, um, shit, can't remember who the Phantom was. Anyway, I love um, the editing that they did to put on their shirts. So he has the uh, I Am The Angel Of Music and then she has my life motto, sorry I can't, the Angel Of Music is very strange. So I, I, I love that one. I love that it's based off of an actual picture of a Phantom and Christine. Uh, here we go with another one by Annie Girard. Another absolutely beautiful blonde Christine. It's just gorgeous. I, I absolutely love this style. I, I love the, uh, the darkness of him kind of being in the background in the mirror. Yeah, and another major respect to uh, Annie Girard for, for this one. Uh, I just recently discovered this artist. Um, her name is Ariane Sorsores. I hate that I'm probably butchering your name. I'm so sorry. Um, she is in my Phantom fan group on Facebook, and uh, I've been seeing a lot of her artwork lately, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love her style. It's kind of uh, reminiscent of Murin 007, who was very famous on DeviantArt, but definitely she has her, her own uh, her own style and it's very recognizable and I love that. I really always, I always love these kind of Christmassy phantom uh, drawings because, you know, having the, the mistletoe over the head or, you know, stuff like that. I, I think it's adorable. So I really love this one. Uh, this one 
I believe is by Murin007, who is one of the most well-known phantom fan artists out there right now. But I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think so, so correct me if I'm wrong. But this one was a really beautiful sketch. I, I always love when Eric is, is drawn very LaRue faithful like that because, you know, we don't get to really see any super LaRue faithful um, Eric's in film or anything like that. And so being able to see it in the fan art is always good and exciting so that we get to really see what LaRue was describing. This one in particular actually kind of reminds me of a novel, a fandom novel that I was writing and the Christine in this actually kind of vaguely looks like the lead female character in, in my novel, so that's kind of, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Here's another one by uh, Ariane and this one's hilarious. When I saw this one I immediately started cracking up. The mustache is that's great. She does the uh, more Andrew Lloyd Webber phantoms. It's it's very cute. Uh, this is another Murin 007, I believe, and it never ceases to make me laugh. If you're a SpongeBob fan, you get it. <laughs> Hi, I'm very ugly, but you should enjoy the opera anyway. <laughs> oh my god, I love this one so much. It, it, I grew up with Spongebob and I, so I immediately knew what the reference was. <laughs> this is a beautiful piece of art here. I absolutely adore this. I'm, I'm not sure of the artist, so please tell me if who you, it is, if you know, or if it's you. However, the edit that was done to it with the uh, lyrics from The Kill by 30 Seconds to Mars was actually done by my friend Troy for certain reasons. Um, it is closely associated with a certain project that I'm working on right now. Just gonna throw that in there and be a little cryptic. Oh, here we go with more Ariane. I feel like this is becoming <laughs> an Ariane Soros po uh, appreciation post. Also, very cute with the rose. I, I adore this. I love the uh, dresses that she puts uh, Christine in. This one's very reminiscent of the wishing gown, I believe. Here we go again, once more. It's just that very uh, unique art style that you can just immediately tell that it's that it's her and uh, that's that's always exciting to see. So the level of detail is just beautiful in, in these. This is wonderful. Again, I don't know the artist and it pisses me off because I, I always want to give credit where credit is due. I love these paintings of uh, and drawings of Eric and Christine's, you know, potential wedding, you know, had things ended differently. And this one being a slightly, seemingly more LaRue faithful interpretation, um, even though Christine is not blonde, is, is really beautiful. I love her wedding dress. I love her veil. The level of talent here is just, it's just amazing. This, uh, once more, I do not know the artist, so please tell me. Being able to uh, see somebody recreate what Eric um, would look like throughout various points uh, in his life, you know, from birth to the end of the novel, you know, especially since we have Susan Kay's novel, which goes over his entire life, to be able to kind of get a better picture in your mind of what you know he looked like throughout those various stages as you read that particular novel. I, I love that and I think you know with this being an extremely LaRue faithful version of Eric it's fantastic and I, I think that this would be uh, quite accurate. This is a beautiful one. Once more the artist is not there but it looks like a mirror in 007 so I'm not sure. Just correct me if I'm wrong always these these really tender sad moments from the book but i love to see them illustrated uh this one i uh i recently discovered this artist i do not know who the artist is but they also have a very unique style and it features a blonde christine um there's a lot of realism going on in in this which i absolutely love i love the organ and the uh 
candelabra statues. I mean, it's just, that's just crazy. And and then I do love Christine's dress. Once again, we have a very uh, LaRue faithful painting here. It even has the black mask as opposed to the white because in the novel, the mask is black. But uh, I, I love this, this artist. I think that the, the level of detail in, in their uh, their work is just incredible. Um, I just and I, I I love a blonde Christine. I love seeing that because you you don't very often. Uh, this one I believe was by the same artist. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe so. I believe they were in the same post when I looked at them. Um, again, Larue Eric. This time it's black and gray. And then I think we can kind of tell that that would be a blonde Christine, you know, and then of course uh, it's a very obvious depiction of LaRue Eric. I think it's a, I think it's a really cool representation of, you know, how LaRue describes his eyes are, you know, so far back in his head that it's just like beads of light in a uh, hole of a grinning skull or whatever it was. This is another really great one. All right, you guys, uh, thank you for the first one in this series. Um, I, I would like to do more of these because I'm constantly coming across um, really beautiful fan art. So um, send uh, art my way, whether it's yours or someone else's. But if it is someone else's, please credit the artist because um, I, I would like to be able to do that within the video and not just, you know, stuck in the a featured comment. So that's all I have for you today. Stay fantastic with a PH and keep your hand at the level of your eyes.